Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Al and today we are giving a makeover to our lovely triplet girls. They are a part of my Crybaby Whims Legacy Challenge here on the channel and they have just had a birthday and become teenagers so we definitely have to give them some makeovers for sure. So I'll try to kind of mention like the main CC that I use on them in case you're interested. You can also go to my Tumblr which is linked down below and you can also see the link here and go check out my CC finds if you're interested. So first we're working on Hyacinth. She was the first born out of the three so we're gonna just go in order. I used I believe the tulip skin on her and I also thought that some like redness like some acne scarring looked actually kind of cute on her so she's a teen so why not um, I gave her that and I am searching for a hair for her and putting on some makeup and then I realized of course I'm on her party outfit so I have to go to her everyday outfit and um, start again so here we go so I chose this really cute hair by OK Rue it's got these kind of like bubble pony tail or pigtails on the side of her head they're super cute and we're giving her a necklace a pink one and they come or the hair comes with this accessory this bow accessory super adorable and she is outgoing and an active sim so when i was doing her everyday outfit here i did end up giving her a skirt um i just thought it looked the best i don't know because she's always been like more dressy than the other two but then i end up giving her some tennis shoes to kind of pull back in that active vibe i think it looks really good so we're giving her some nails and then we will go in and do some um oh then we're gonna do her formal wear <laughs> So when she aged up, she actually aged up with this like cottagecore dress so I thought I would give it back to her and I gave her like um, some sandals and then some cottagecore hair as well. I gave her an updo that's like this braided kind of crown, very cute, I'm sorry I'm going to say cute like 10 million times in this video because they are, they're just cute, okay? And um... So now we're going in with her makeup, giving her pinky makeup. I did not want to do a ton of makeup on these teen sims because they're teens and they just turned into teens. So, but again, they look like adults. Like you can't really distinguish between the two that much. Their bodies change like a little bit when they age up, but not really, which kind of sucks. But also if you look down in the bottom corner where the little like thumbnail headshots are, you can see that the triplets are really tall. Like Prim is really short compared to them. I don't know if they're just super tall or she's sh super short. I don't know, but Lotus is the tallest one, obviously. Um, so real quick for her party outfit, I gave her a little like sundress, put her hair in these French braids, which looked really good, I thought. And then when we go on to her swimwear, I actually messed up and cut out um, her hot weather wear and her cold weather wear look. So I'm sorry about that. They're not that important though, so <laughs> whatever. You'll probably see it in gameplay anyway. Something happened when I was rendering it and it's just that little part's gone, so whatever. Her swimwear, I give her this, again, kind of like cottagecore looking bathing suit. And this is the part where I messed up and there's a big chunk missing, so whoops. Here's all of her outfits really quick, except for the like last two, sorry. And then we move on to Azalea. So this is Azalea, she was the middle triplet and she is a goofball. She's also a party animal and we gave her the teen aspiration where she has to go party basically so that should be fun she's always been kind of the outgoing prankster jokester one so we're keeping with that theme and I believe I gave her not rose water skin uh, it was something I don't remember butterish me I don't know I will put the name of it <laughs> up on the screen so you can see what skin it is and now I'm getting giving her some light makeup and trying to pick out a hair I found this short hair um, again by okay Roo, right yeah it is they're one of my favorite hair creators they are great 
and now we are just working on her everyday outfit she again aged up with this shirt for her party wear actually and so I really liked it thought I would give it to her for her every day again she's always just kind of been like a little sporty or in her fashion sense so stuck with that and now we're giving her her formal wear I put on this white and pink dress and I was like oh she looks so beautiful so we kept that and then I changed her hair up to um again I think a different okay Roo hair oh no it's clumsy alien this time so this hair is clumsy alien and it's very similar to her everyday hair but just a little bit different it's like a little more tamed almost like she styled it a little bit for her formal wear so I thought that was fitting for her and we're just gonna give her a little bit deeper of a makeup for her formal wear and then we'll go on to her athletic wear so Azalea was like more purpley pink throughout her toddlerhood and her childhood so I kind of stuck with that theme in most of her outfits and her athletic one is one of them and I like it a lot I like this little tied vest over the tank top and um, giving her some leggings I think and some tension is pretty simple and then her sleepwear is again pretty simple it's just some shorts and a sweater and some slippers and that is about it for that one <laughs> and th then her party outfit I gave her back her hair because it was gone and I um, again keep it pretty like sporty almost even though she's not like an active sim but I don't know I think that's just her style so we gave her this purpley pink jacket from high school years and these pants um, also from high school years in white and some like van type shoes that are custom contents and then I give her some accessories a necklace you know all the good stuff and then her swimwear is this really cute bathing suit um, I forget who it's by but it's adorable and um, then we're moving on to her hot weather wear so I think she just gets like these cute shorts and then just like a little tank top um, that comes with the game yep or one of the packs I should say it's not custom content and then um, some tennis shoes and some more accessories and yeah this one's probably the most kind of stereotypically girly I guess I don't know um, and then her cold weather wear is more of that purpley pink color to tie that theme in and we'll give her a little hat and she's so cute and then here is her looks quickly just clicking through all of them this one didn't get messed up but Hyacinth did sorry Hyacinth and now we're on to Dahlia so here we go um, Dahlia is like the one that looks the most different from them um, I gave her the cicada skin and she's also like the tannest skin tone wise the other two are a little bit more pale um, she looks a little bit she has a little bit more of honey's face shape she always has actually um, and you could tell that the other two had more of like Conrad's features Conrad's eyes and stuff so they still definitely do and uh, this is again oh my gosh I can't believe I used all okay Rue hairs for their everyday outfits so <laughs> Dahlia gets two different okay Rue hairs one with the headband and one without so there you go um, yeah and then I kept this dress because I thought it was cute that's that's <laughs> what I thought um, so Dahlia is gloomy and she is also materialistic that was her new trait she got when she aged up so I kind of kept her like kind of preppy girly um, she's got some like probably expensive jewelry maybe honey gave her these pearls that she's wearing I don't know it's a little grown up for like a teenager but again I think she would like that and she would like cherish this expensive jewelry she's got going on so I did give her a couple of like I don't know bigger jewel jewelry jewelry <laughs> if that makes sense whatever um, and I kept her a little bit more like soft and, and girly I don't really know what she likes yet she wants to be a master actress I guess so we'll kind of learn her personality later on and then I gave her these cute pigtails which are by Aretha B so 
that is someone different and um this is kind of what she wears for her active wear and her like sleep wear her swim wear when she, her hair is like up in little pigtails and um yep so i just changed it back to that hair and i gave her a little bit more of like a girly uh, sleepwear again and for her party I gave her that other okay Rue hair and I really like the shirt that she had on so decided just to keep it and give her a white skirt and some sandal heels I think yeah that's it for Dahlia's party wear so as we go on to her swimwear here in a second I just wanted to take a second to ask you guys like what your opinions are on all this sims news that's going on like we're getting a new expansion pack later this month and horses like what okay um so i'm just kind of curious what you think about it is that good bad were you looking forward to getting horses you think we we're gonna get cars next what is happening i don't know and then all these like sims 5 project renee kind of leaks well not really leaks they they showed it on the sims direct or whatever the heck that's called anyway um <laughs> so yeah seems kind of interesting i'm excited for it but you know who knows keeping my expectations low as well so just curious what you guys think so after her cute little hot weather outfit we have her last stuff for her cold weather which is this like fuzzy teddy bear coat and some boots and hats and then we will do a short little click through of all her looks but yeah i'm really happy with how they turned out i think they all look pretty good um when they aged up i was a little scared they were looking a little weird but we got them with of course lovely cc and now they look good so here's hyacinth kind of up close she's gonna do a little spin and i hope you guys enjoyed the video here's azalea uh, if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to my channel, and I hope you guys enjoyed and have a lovely rest of your day. Bye!